Hi, welcome to the ninth tutorial on creating a virtual cluster using Ubuntu Server and Oracle VirtualBox. In the previous tutorial, I set up the LDAP server that we're going for uh, sharing user accounts. Now we're just going to set up the client so that um, the nodes can actually log in using those accounts. So on the head node, after you've logged into the root account, apt get uh, I'm not typing here. App get install lib pam minus ldap and nscd. Yes. Uh, this should be a pretty small download. Okay. It's going to ask for this configuration. We want to remove the i from ldap i. So that's just ldap. And then we add master.testcluster.com and ok dc should be master ah sorry no testcluster.com ldap version 3 yes make a root local database um, LDAP database does not require login. LDAP account for root should be admin dot test cluster dot com. Okay, enter the root password and it's setting up. If for some reason you made a mistake there and you need to rerun the setup, you can use the command d dp uh, dp kg minus reconfigure ldap minus auth minus config. Okay, but I'm not going to do that now. I'm pretty sure I didn't make a mistake. I hope. Uh, next up, we want to configure the client software. So vim slash etc slash ns yeah ns switch dot conf and then do these do the stop group we want to add ldap in front of compat for all three entries just like that mm -hmm. okay. so you can just try and quit that file. Uh, next up is the slash etc slash pam dot d slash common session. Uh, we want to go down right to the bottom of the file and then add a line session optional pam underscore mk home der dot so s no scale equals slash etc slash scale u mask equals zero zero oh no zero zero two two just like that and then right quit for that changes to take effect we need to restart the nscd service so just service nscd restart and that should be it we can now switch to me and we're connected as user me which has just received a home folder which probably has nothing in it so just exit um, if we want to add our sudo is admin group, which we probably do to the sudo file. Vim slash etc slash sudo Go down to almost the bottom. And then we want to add a line similar to this one. I admins, because that's the group name that we gave the LDAP server and all equals bracket 
all bracket space all and that should be it yeah go away so now to me should have pseudo access why did I make the password? No, not that. Yeah, okay. Me now has pseudo access because of sh because me is in the pseudo or oh, the, uh, the admins group. Yeah. Okay, so now we want to do the same setup for the nodes. So SSH node zero one, and then app get install no app get update first Okay, once update update is done, we want to install the same files we did in the previous one. So apt-get install lib bum minus ldap nscd. Why? Okay, I'm just gonna pause the download again. Oh, never mind. Remove the i, set it to master.testcluster.com this should be com, this should be test cluster, LDAP version 3, yes, local database, no, it doesn't require login, should be com, should be admin, test cluster, okay. And then enter the test cluster or well the admin password and enter. Okay, then we need to edit the same files we did in the previous one. Well, on the add node. So, vim slash etc nswitch.conf. Add LDAP, 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 exit right quit, and then vim slash etc pam dot d common session again at the end of the file session required. Um, underscore make home dir dot so scale equals slash etc slash scale you mask equals zero zero two two and exit quit and then service nscd restart so now the me user should be on node 1 as well. So sudo switch user to me. Uh, okay, so I found the error. In uh, the initial configuration, I had to remove a slash that I kind of forgot about. So I'm just going to rerun this configuration. Uh, yes, manage it, LDAP. You have to remove one of the slashes here, so it's only LDAP, colon, slash, slash, and then the rest of my stuff should be fine already. No, yes, just enter the password. Uh, okay, MD5 is fine. So if I switch user to me now, I've got me on node 1. So just repeat this process on node 2 and you should be able to log into all of your nodes with a brand new user account. 
Thanks for watching.